my god, you guys. Okay, so I'm like the most excited I've ever been in my entire life right now. So I'm recording. If this is a little bit sideways, it's because I'm recording two things. So anyways, that doesn't matter. It's Sarah Hall, the Wealthy Optimist. I'm so pumped up right now because I did a revision, a complete revision of my book. <sighs> I wrote this book, it was like my first ever self-help book and I wrote it in 2016. I started writing it before my older sister passed away, and Tamara, and it's actually her birthday today and the craziest things always happen on her birthday ever since she passed away, it's so crazy, but um, it's, it's signs from her just that she's here with me, supporting me, guiding me, it's just, she's my guardian angel. Um, and so that was four years ago and I wrote this book and it's called Positive Power and it originally had been um, uh, Positive Power Mastering Your Mindset to Unleash Your Inner Magic and so that was the first edition and it was a really rough edition. Um, I was younger when I wrote it and I didn't hire an editor to do it. I self-published it. I did it all myself and it turned out really rough. Um, my ex-boyfriend designed the cover. It just, you know, bless him for trying but it was, turned out terrible. <laughs> And so what I've done is I took the time during this quarantine um, to actually hire an editor. I rewrote the entire book. Um, I've been like waking up at 5 a.m. to work on this because I also have a full-time job. I've been waking up super early to work on this for the past like seven, actually even started before quarantine, for the past about seven months. And um, I hired an editor who edited it for me. Um, I've gotten a graphic designer who designed the cover, um, I hired a web designer who designed a website for me, and I actually have um, hired somebody who helped me to create a course that goes alongside it, and now I've created the second edition of my book, which is completely different in so many ways because it actually um, has 12 steps that I break down that guide you through how exactly to transform your life from one of negativity to living a positive life where you are full of abundance and joy and so many blessings and it's just been it's been a crazy wild journey like I went from somebody who struggled with addiction eating disorders um, hanging out with the wrong type of people I got expelled from high school uh, I it, I had so many different things in my life happen to me and I've had so much grief my grandmother um, killed herself my older sister died of a drug overdose uh, my family um, my parents were divorced when I was nine so I come from a broken family where it was really full of a lot of you know abuse they were horrible to each other and that affected me in a major major way um, gave me tons of anxiety PTSD childhood trauma you name it I dealt with it and struggled with it for years and years and years and years um, and then as I grew up because I experienced all of that at some, such a young age I just wanted to be loved so I dated the wrong people one after the other getting into like abusive relationship after one and after the other where they were either physically abusive, emotionally abusive or some kind of severe trauma that caused a lot of lasting damage on me as well too and to the point that my PTSD turned into CPTSD which is complex post-traumatic stress disorder where you have so many things compiled and it just it's out of control. So. Anyways, I went from all of that, I was scared to be alone, I was just like, I, I would stay in a relationship, for example, with my ex-boyfriend, I stayed in a relationship with him for four years where I was unhappy and knew that it wasn't right for me, and I was so desperate and wanting so badly to be loved that I stayed in a relationship that was wrong for me for four years, you know what I mean? And then something clicked and I was able to apply these 12 steps to really start to transform my life. I ended up moving across the world alone. I now live in London, UK. I'm filming this from my apartment in London. I um, went traveling for five months by myself all around like Europe, all over. I went to 13 different countries. It was amazing. I lived in Florence for five weeks. It was unbelievable. I never thought I could do anything alone. Like literally never thought I could do anything alone. And I got on a plane and I went traveling for five months by myself. And when I got back, I was like, you know what? I don't even want to live in Vancouver anymore. I want to go experience my life somewhere else. And my grandparents, um, who have both passed away, are um, British and Scottish citizens, respectively. So I'm able to get a UK ancestry visa. So I was like, I'm going to just go and move to the United Kingdom by myself. And I did. And um, this marks a year and a half since I moved to the UK by myself. Um, and it's just been, it's been a whirlwind. I also landed acting roles on TV shows. Um, I landed a stunt role on a really, really 
incredible Netflix series um, called Lost in Space. You can check that out. Um, I was on the 100. I did military stunt acting um, and military special ability skills um, on a bunch of different TV shows like the 100, Siren, uh, Stump Town, tons, tons of different things and just had such an amazing experience over the past couple of years. I was able to completely realize my dreams. And I wanted to explain all of that. And now I'm in a healthy and happy relationship with somebody who I believe that I manifested. And it's funny because he believes that he manifested me as well with somebody who I can communicate with, who understands me on a deep level because we just have so much in common because we've been through so many similar things. And we just, there's so much love and I don't have to, I, because I learned to love myself, I don't have to beg for love from anybody. And now I'm in a relationship that's healthy, that's happy, where we communicate, where there's so much love and positivity. We freaking meditate together. You know, we do yoga together. We work out together. We just, we lift each other up and inspire each other. And it's just gone from something where I thought that my life, I just was so like, why am I so stuck? What is going wrong? thought I was doing all the right things. You know, I read countless self-help books, took courses, had life coaching, and it wasn't until I actually started in instilling and practicing and making actionable steps with these 12 steps that I wrote in my book for you um, that I really changed my life. And now, to get to the gold, look what's arrived. This is the first ever hardcover copy of my brand new book, and I'm so freaking excited, and I haven't opened it yet, okay? It's sealed. This came like that but I haven't opened it yet. I'm so excited and I wanted to open it on camera because I feel like I'm gonna friggin' cry. I'm so excited to share this with you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh wow. Can you guys see that? There we go. Ah, look at it, it's so beautiful. Oh my God, it's so beautiful, you guys. I haven't even seen the paperback version of this yet. Look at this. Oh my gosh, look at the back. That's me. Oh, it's so awesome. I'm so excited about it. Oh my God, there's nothing like the fresh book, like opening a fresh book. Oh, wow. Well, there it is. There's my new book, Positive Power, 12 Steps to Mastering Your Mindset. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. Oh, and it looks beautiful. And the paper, the pages feel so nice. It's such nice quality paper. It's beautiful, it's soft. Oh my gosh, look. Oh, I'm so proud. I'm so, so, so proud. I'm so proud. I'm so excited. Look, there's step 10, living in the moment. I mean, this is amazing. This is amazing. Let's read this expert, excerpt, excerpt. I can't, can't be too excited. I can't even talk. What does it mean to live in the moment? Many of us do not know. Many of us have lived so much of our lives in a kind of constant mental turmoil. However, I bet we do know what it feels like to not know what is happening around us. We no longer pay attention to the people and scenarios around us. So many of us are stuck in a strange kind of limbo, caught between thinking about what is to come or what has already been, that we forget what is. We get into a car, we get to our destination, we do what we have to do, we get back outside and we head home. If you were asked what was the first thing you saw when you stepped into that building, you would quickly realize that you don't remember. We are always in a hurry to some future event or trying to fix the past. We misplace things because we don't pay attention. One second our keys are in our hands, the next second we've misplaced them, not, remember where, not remembering where we dropped them. One minute we're using our cell phone, the next minute we're having a mental breakdown because we can't find it. Although it's in our hand, am I right? It says that in here. <laughs> Simply put, we're absent-minded, but why? We. Why are we a culture of absent-minded people? It's because we are always living in and expecting the future, which hasn't been written yet. Or we are living in the past. We forget to take note of the rainbow in the sky, the chirping of the birds, the whistling of the wind, the wonders that surround us. We forget to have a conversation with the person alone in the elevator with us. And instead, we stare blankly into our cell phone, even though it doesn't even have reception in there. Oh! I'm just so excited, you guys. I want everybody to read this book. Honestly, it completely 
this book changed my life because while I was writing this, I I was using my own life experiences and the things that helped me to get to a place of loss, of grief, of confusion, of low self-esteem, low self-confidence, crazy roller coasters of emotions, to a place where I wake up in the morning and I'm grateful for everything I have. And don't get me wrong, like I still struggle and I still have to go back and I have to check myself and I have to like keep learning and keep growing and keep sharing. But this book changed my life because I was able to write down the things that were helping me, the things that I've learned after a decade of studying all from all different kinds of amazing mentors and trainers. And I've been, I've been able to compile it all into 12 steps, 12 easy, simple to follow steps. And at the end of each, at the end of each step is an exercise that you can use to implement into your life that step straight away. So I'm really, really excited. Okay. So let me, let me just let you know what the 12 steps are, okay? Dun, 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 dun. Let me get to the part where it's got the 12 steps. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm just so excited for this. Okay, so step one is acceptance. Step one is acceptance, okay? So you have to be willing to accept who you are and let go of the past, all right? There are many challenges we have to pass through in order to reach our desired destination. Those challenges make us into the person we want to be or they can break us. We must be strong, accept what we can change, and have the courage and positive outlook to set to work on making those changes. We must learn to be comfortable in our own skin, in being us. That's step one. Okay, step two, knowledge. This is like a little at the end of the at the end of the book. There's a tiny little summary of all of the chapters, but the gold is in the chapters. You gotta go and like read and dive in and do the exercises and do the work. And in my course, which you can buy alongside the book, um, and you can actually like in the course it dives even deeper 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 gives you workbooks give you gives you steps gives you active um methods to actually work through all of the steps and apply it into your life okay so step two is knowledge knowledge is power we have to know the truth in order to move on joyfully in our lives no matter who we are at some point in our lives we have been we have believed in an erroneous way of thinking and it is only by unlearning those negative thoughts that we can fix what was broken and move forward in positivity that's step two step three is desire this is the beginning of all achievement so if we are to be positive we must want it we must desire it, it must be close to an obsession but not desperation and we must work towards it when we know what we want and we do what it takes to get it and we know that our desire is something we deserve, we can move quicker to positivity. Step four is active thought. This is where it gets interesting. We are to focus on what we want as well as on positivity to stay positive. All around us, there is always one thing or another tempting to, attempting to dull our joy. We are to persevere by actively letting our thoughts dominate the external situations. We are to find positivity in every situation and use our minds to hold it there. How often do we get caught in negative thinking traps? I teach you how to let go of those negative thinking traps in this book. Step five is gratitude. One of my favorite things, I swear by gratitude. Every day I wake up and list things I'm grateful for and I do it all throughout the day. So gratitude, step five, back on the subject of not letting situations or people dull our shine, we turn to gratitude, which is a feeling rather than an act. Gratitude shifts our energy and helps us to notice the good and to uphold it. What we focus on gets bigger and what we ignore fades away. So it does help to focus on being grateful, on those little things that make for a more positive existence. That way we build up in our lives positivity and love. That's step five. Step six is affirmations. This is the act of repeating a positive message to ourselves. The essence of this act is to influence our subconscious in such a way that being positive becomes second nature. The more we repeat a message, the deeper it sinks, the deeper it sinks, and the more real it becomes. Like casting a magic spell, our dreams can literally become our realities through the power of manifestation and through the mastery of our mindset. And I am living proof of that because, and so are my students, because you are able to transform your life you are so much more powerful than you give yourself credit for. So much more powerful. All the times that you've ever doubted yourself, that you've been confused, that you think, oh my God, I'm not worthy. I'm never gonna become a best-selling author. I'm never gonna you know, be, become a, a bodybuilder champion. Whatever it is that your dreams are, you can do them. You can. There is more than enough in the entire universe of everything that you've ever wanted for you to have it. For you to have it too, just like anybody else has. And I teach you how to do all of that in this book. So that was step six. 
Step seven is imagination. Another way of influencing our minds in the direction of being positive is through our imagination. Affirmations deal with words while imagination deals with making, our, making images in our minds and generating the feelings associated with those images as if they were real. Okay, you can practice this by closing your eyes and envisioning, envisioning it. I'm just so excited. <laughs> you can practice this. I love you guys. I'm so excited. Okay, I can't even talk. You can practice this by closing your eyes and envisioning, envision, envisioning yourself <laughs> accomplishing a goal you have or completing a project or just envision yourself being able to say words. I mean, really, Sarah. Uh, you can also practice this by creating a dream or a vision board um, and filling it with the successes and goals that you have in your life. I walk you through how I created my vision board, how to make one for yourself, how to make one that actually works, mantras and manifestation techniques that actually work, you know, because it's one thing to just say it and put it on a vision board and look at it every day. It's another thing to actually do it and be able to bring it into your life. They're very different things. So that's step seven. Step eight is patience, okay? After the influencing has been done, we need to give it time to work and become physical. The positive atmosphere we have created within will be reflected on the outside in its own due time. And as the changes begin to occur, that truck is very rude. <laughs> Why are you so loud? Sorry about that, you guys. I think it's cleaning the street. I can't edit this out because it's live. Okay, sorry about that. But anyways, as the changes begin to occur on the outside, we are given more encouragement as to continue in our thought. Remember, patience is a virtue and good things come to those who wait for the magic to begin to manifest. That's step eight. Step nine is letting go. This is very difficult. This is, this is probably the hardest thing that I have dealt with my whole life. This is where we talk about per persevering in the path of beautifying our own inner world. There is no need to force conditions externally. Letting go teaches us that we are to go with the flow of life and let life unfold before us. If you find yourself caught in a situation that's toxic, making you uncomfortable, dulling your shine, then you have to simply bless and release. Bless that person or situation that's causing the negativity and release yourself from it. Let go and move on with your magical self. Living in the moment is step 10. This is about being present, paying attention to a particular task at a time and not letting ourselves get overwhelmed with various activities. Living in the moment helps us enjoy our time here on earth as well as improve our lifestyles, our enjoyment, and most of all, our positivity. Step 11 is surroundings. Our surroundings are always showing us exactly where we are in our development as people. This is a really important step. And step 12 is giving. The act of giving is a true blessing. And as such, I am giving a special 80% off deal on my books right now. So the hardcover book is 80% off. Um, so you can click the link below to get that. I'm also giving away a free paperback edition. All you have to do is pay the shipping and handling because I'm buying all of the books. It's completely at cost to me and I need your help to pay for the shipping so I can get the book to you. So click the link below. Don't forget to go and check it out. Positivepowerbook.com for the hardcover and wealthyoptimist.com for the paperback free book. I love you guys so much. This has been so exciting. Thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see and hear all about what you guys think about the book. If you send me a photo of yourself holding the book or a video testimonial, I'm going to give you guys some free extra bonuses. Thanks so much for following and I love you guys and I cannot wait to see your lives transformed. Ah, I'm just so excited. I'm seriously so excited. I cannot even believe this. This is another one of my dreams manifested and I just can't wait for you to manifest all of your most amazing dreams as well.